at midnight as the clock strikes for the, <laughs> the new year, the new decade, uh, this particular time around. This morning, we, uh, we're trying to try something I've never heard of. Freedom soup, because yeah. we want to have some good luck. It's a traditional dish that Haitian families use to usher in the new year with a rich history. And there's this fabulous book to go with it with the recipe to explain the tradition and the history and the story and the recipe. Tammy Charles is here. Hi, Tammy. Hi, thanks St for having me. Still writing books, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. I love it. Yes. And still cooking. <laughs> I love to cook. I'm a wannabe chef. I, well, that's so true. But you're really good. Sounds good, right? You're really good. <laughs> it smells delicious. Thank you so that's much. That's Freedom Soup in that bowl right there. This is what I call Freedom Soup, but it's really called Soup Jumu. What does that mean? Jumu is pumpkin in okay. Creole. So there's actually a unique story about this soup, and I've taken the liberty to write about it in my children's book, Freedom cool. Soup. The, the unique story is this. Uh, long ago, when slavery still existed on the island of Hispaniola, mm -hmm. Haiti and Dominican Haiti. Republic, but in Haiti, um, the enslaved actually had to grow the vegetables that you see here, and they cooked this soup for their enslavers. Um, it was a delicacy. They were not allowed to eat this soup. Even though they made it. Even it, though they uh, grew the vegetables and uh, made it. That, that just sounds awful, right? Yes. <laughs> but um, so they had the Haitian Revolution was, was this war that lasted for about 12 years. Mm -hmm. And during that time of war, when they won their independence on January 1st, 1804, how do you think they, they celebrated? They celebrated by eating the soup. The same soup they weren't allowed to eat. I yeah. love that story. <laughs> this is probably, I think, honestly, this is why the soup, when you try it, it tastes like, first of all, it tastes like freedom, and it tastes like victory and just joy in a bowl. I can't wait it's to a try celebration. It. So does it have a, a pumpkin or a gourd base to it? Yes. Flavor? So it's made the it's a hearty soup with a pumpkin base that jumu that i told you about right. um it's very popular in haiti but it grows best in warm climates and you know here on the east coast we don't have that so i make mine with butternut squash, butternut squash. Ooh, I bet yeah that's good. it's a, you know they're like cousins go through so everything you got here absolutely squash. We've, we have these are these are some of the staples for freedom soup or soup jumu you have squash um you have all different types of Greens, yeah. You have uh, cilantro, parsley, thyme, love garlic. Garlic. <laughs> uh, lots of veggies here: carrots, peppers, celeries, scallions, onions, mm, cabbage, cabbage, green peppers. And here you can use a potato, but I like something called that. It's called batata. 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 <laughs> it is a Latin American sweet potato. So you're chopping all this up. So do yes. you start with the mirepoix like we would start with the normal soup base, which is going to be your carrots, your celery, and your onion sort of finely chopped, and you just sort of saute that up? To Absolutely. Make broth? So let me tell you what it first starts with. It starts with something called an epis. Mm -hmm. An epis is almost like sofrito, if you ever heard of that. It's uh -huh. a sure. marinade yeah. that uh, we, we blend up all of these different herbs and spices. We blend them up, and then we put it on top of the meat. We let that gotcha. marinate for about a day. What stock do you use? Vegetable? I like to use vegetable, vegetable stock. stock. I have a nine-year-old. He doesn't like to eat veggies, so I look for any opportunity to sneak that in there. So How I, long do you cook it? I cook this, you know, altogether, it doesn't take me longer than an hour. Okay. The longest part really is marinating the meat. What's the meat that you're using? Um, here I have chicken. My okay. family, you, typically it's beef. Okay. So I'm going against the grain here. But, but I see, we like chicken in my family. I also see pasta. Yes, that's the piece de resistance. That's the part that you add at the Is end. Is it just spaghetti? You can use spaghetti. I've seen it with penne. Really, any pasta that you like. But the trick is to break the spaghetti in half. Ooh, why is that? <laughs> oh, to make it cook better? Just to make it cook faster. And oh, you're going to try Let's now. Let's get to yeah. it. Get to it. Well, oh. It smells good. I'll Thank tell you, you. that. Mm. That was delicious. Thank you very much. Mm. So when you try the soup, the whole purpose is to feel the victory. You know, um, the people of Haiti, they're resilient people to have gone through such hard times. Great story. And to celebrate with the same soup that wasn't it's allowed. Which so denied them. Good. It's like self-ownership. It's complete self-ownership mm -hmm. in every sense. resilience in a bowl, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. It's really, really fantastic. Everything's so tender, too. And you can make it to your liking. I find that different families have their own mm. versions. I've tried it with beef. I've tried it with chicken. I've even made a meatless one, which oh, is so you puree totally this. against. Yep. You puree oh, yes. that squash. You can, That's why you I got the texture. You can puree it, mm -hmm. but you can also, and, and 
I hope my mother-in-law isn't watching. She's going to be very mad. But you can use Frozen. Oh! <laughs> Listen, I'm a busy mom. Happy New Year. Thank you. <laughs>